Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Jax and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jack's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash, keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction. And Jax is strange when it comes to correction, so you kind of walk a fine line with him. We give very gentle corrections, tug and let go on the training collar, just like with Guinness. Now what we've done is modify your training collar so that it has plastic covers on the prongs so that he, no metal is actually touching his neck. He is at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training takes place, as you remember so well with Guinness. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Jack's heel. And at this point, his job is to stay even with your left leg, not forging ahead or lagging behind, but walking nicely with you and paying attention. And each time that you stop your feet, he should sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. Stay. The stay command is the, the next command that Rich is going to show you. Stay. He has a very nervous type personality, so you can't overcorrect, but you have to keep him under control. So it's, a, again, a fine line that we walk with him. And I know with continued practice that he'll continue to improve, and I don't know how much he had in the first couple years of his life, but, you know, getting to be an adult without having basic obedience is going to be a little bit of a challenge for all of us. Good healing, nice automatic sit. Nice automatic sit, and then the stay command. Practice your stationary exercises. Put your leashes and collars on them. This is the calm command, and he came right in and sat nicely without jumping all over, and then he goes back to heel and back sitting. So you see he craves praise, but being such a large dog, you have to keep him under control. So he's been challenging for sure. And Rich is healing with him again, talks to him to keep him focused on him, not intimidated, but walking nicely, automatic sit, stay. another stay command, Rich uses the come command, he doesn't go overboard, but praises him on the way in and then back to heel and back sitting. He loves to get praised. And Rich will be going over all of this with you tomorrow when he brings them home. Now the next exercises that we're gonna be demonstrating for you are your down commands. So with Jack seated at your left, Left open palm straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. Practice your sit stays and your down stays right in your house. Get the boys on their leashes. Each of you take a leash and practice these exercises with him. It helps to develop self-control, maturity. It makes him use his brain. All of the things that I don't think up until the time that you got him, there was much expected of him. Now Rich is going to demonstrate that down from a heel. So with the dog seated at your left, left open palm straight down toward the ground. Now you notice when he went to lay down that time, he kind of got that cat posture going. This is your long down stay. So lengthen out your time and your distance with him at home. And you can return back to him or you can call him. Good. 
good. And the last exercise that we're going to attempt to do with him, and this is a harder command, so we'll see how it goes, is you're down from a distance. And if you notice, Rich kind of keeps a very low-key demeanor with him. He doesn't get annoyed. We just keep plugging away. He leaves him in a sit-stay. You turn to face him. And again, you're going to be able to lengthen out your distance with this one. All of these things are designed to help to develop his attention span, his focus, and his maturity. He literally acts like he's six months old. So these are all of his basic obedience commands, your healing, your automatic sits, your stays, your down, your down from a distance, your come. These are all the commands that you're going to be practicing with him. Please keep us posted on how he's doing at home so we can be there to help you if needed. We've enjoyed having the boys back here at school and thank you for choosing us again at Nora's Dog Training Company.